Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel. So, I am uh, waiting on an order to arrive because I went ahead and placed a $50 order and I wanted this DSP to go with the notes of nature. Uh, it's going to be gorgeous. So, in the meantime, I am still playing with the one sheet of each of these that I have kept for myself. And um, I came up with a little art project for my room. So this is a little, it's not a shadow box. It is just a skinny, it's less than a half an inch frame from Walmart. I paid like five bucks for it. I took the glass out. This was sitting on my shelf. This is a little sampler I made for my house uh, using that cute little uh, tree lot dies with the little trailer. So I am going to show you what I am now putting in it. So it is an eight by eight frame and I have an eight by eight piece of garden green, which I'm not going to do anything to. And then I have a seven and three quarters by seven, three quarters piece of bubble bath. And we're going to use a large bottle of Tombow to glue these two. And keeping things like this gives me, you know, my creative outlook. And uh, I can change these little frames on the shelf in my stamp room. Anytime the mood suits me or if I feel like, oh, I have something that I could use. We just need to get it a little straighter than I did. So scooch it over. That's why I love liquid glue. So we have an 8 by 8 piece of garden green. We have a seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters piece of bubble bath. Now I have, let me put this on it. This was once a three by seven and a half piece of, um, goes like this, doesn't it? Yes. Of fresh freesia. What I did is I have this string of birds and I knew that I still want to make a card with these that I wanted to use this all on a card here. So I took in easily fussy cut across the top and then I really got in, did some dips. I glued it onto that three by what was it? Seven and a half piece of um, fresh freesia. Now I'm going to glue this to the bottom. This is how I started my project all because I wanted to use this. And here we go. You guys don't know this because I won't be showing that video, but I started this video and all of a sudden there's a little knock, knock, knock at my door. Oh, you guys are going to love this, right? So my stamp room is not located in my home. It's located just steps off of my back porch. And during the freezing cold weather, I had it's in it. It's locked with a deadbolt. And then it just has a handle. It's just a little 12 by 12 room. So my key was once on this. I'm not even going to attempt to find the key in the room. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh, I wonder if I can tell my husband to pick up a deadbolt or any lock. So this is the key to my stamp room. Look at that. It was so cold that I went to turn the lock and I didn't force it or anything. I just turned it and it snapped my key off in the lock and this is the only key to my stamp room. So now I have a string tied to the handle and tied to a nail on the cover of the covered porch. Stuff happens. So anyways, <laughs> just for your information. Oh, the craziness of life. Oh, so we are going to do some stamping. Yes, we are. I almost forgot about that. I do want my, I want fresh freesia. Now, I don't want this everywhere, and we're going to use the little splatter dots, but this time we're going to use the ones from Notes of Nature, which I don't even know where the stamp case is at the moment because my desk is covered. There it is. Oh. All right. Notes of Nature, right? I might do a few leaves, but I really thought, let me show you what you can do with this stamp. So let me lay my stuff out first because that's going to show me where 
Look at this. That's from the DSP and I fussy cut it. And what this is all I have left of this particular print. I fussy cut this out. I fussy cut that had a part of a bird and I fussy cut him off. And there's a piece. And there's a piece. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Yes, 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 it is. I know it is. So, anyways, this is going to go in the center. This big branch over here, I left this on for a reason because that is going to get hidden like right there, like so. We're just filling in space here. This one I thought I would have come from the side. I might have to break it down a little more. And this one I thought I would have up here. And that left this little bit to do maybe a little something. It can't go there because I have two other pieces. So I did the same thing. I fussy cut these little birds out from right here. I fussy cut two of them with the purplish flowers of Fresh Freesia. So this one's going to go up in that corner and that backing it on the Fresh Freesia and fussy cutting it. Let me move this. There's my pieces, right? And I need to figure out where this went again. So there. That might need a little trimming. I wanted this in the center. So maybe, I don't know, we have to figure that out. Oh yes, that goes there. And this is going to get cut there. I'll probably add that little bit somewhere in there. So what I want to do is in here and up there, I'm going to be moving these things off as I stamp. So I want a little bit of stuff right here. So I'm just going to scoot that out of the way. A little bit of speckles there. But I do want to make it flow. That's why I'm kind of putting things back. I'm going to stamp it, move it again. I want it going that way. You can see how I'm putting the pieces there where I want them roughly. So now I know I need some little speckles right here. And that will also help me lay it down. And I'm ready. I'm going to put some there. And I'm going to bring it this way. And this one is going to come over here. I'm going to connect it and then continue maybe like so with it. I do like that. All right. So in here, it needs some right there in an upward arc and maybe like that. So let's put our branches back in place. We definitely need some. You see how I'm turning that so it goes with the bird there. Looks like it could probably use a little bit more. So we're going to make it up there. Roughly put it back where it goes. I want a little bit more right there. And I want a little bit like right here. Now I'm not going to stamp the whole thing. I'm just going to. So I now know that my bird, my focal point of my bird is going to, oh, I missed it. I want it right here. So right there. Move that away. There we go. Oh, so darling. Maybe I should just stamp it all, you guys think. Let's see. Now I'm getting like kind of crazy with it. Lightly touching down. Going around there. Yeah, we're just going to fill it in now. I think so. At first I didn't want it all over there, but you know what? Let's go for it. Maybe I should learn to stamp all the way down. And then go around the edge. Then we'll fill it in. Probably be simpler than me doing all that other stuff, right?
Oh, I can stamp twice. Yes, that works. Use it more of that ink. Even a third time will do. Now we're going to have speckles everywhere. Little speckly bits everywhere. Maybe then I should come in with the garden green. Let's take a look what we got. Okay, now I don't have to worry so much. But what I want to do is, where's my little scrap? We're going to do a test strip. So I want to test what the garden green will look like on here. So let me grab it because I put it away like a silly person would. Yes. So this is also from the Notes of Nature. Nope. I can tell you right now that is not happening on there. Mm -mm, no sorry. All right. Let's go. Let's do this. Move that aside. That's why test first. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we just go for it. All right. We are going to glue the main portion of my bird down. I'm going to leave the edges off for the moment, but I want to get him because I might tuck things down. So this is the focal point, of course, of my bird. Then I'm going to put my other two little birdies up there. So there's one. Such gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And it would look so pretty in my room. Okay. So this piece you guys know, you guys all know because I told you is going to go, I wanted it like right there. So we're going to need to do that little bit can come off and I want to just dip into that little bit of blue on there and then lift this up. I might have to trim a little bit more because I want to look like the branch is still coming and it looks like those little berries will not be able to stay. So we're going to trim them off as well. And now I can glue it in place. Sometimes you just have to wait to do the finishing touches. I should have done a live here, but I only have so long because my husband is fixing the glitch in the garage with the electrical. And when I originally came out to my stamp room, there was no power. And I was like, what have you done? He's like, I am fixing the electrical issue in the garage. And your place is connected to that circuit, so it's got to go. But he ran to the store. I'm like, you better hook me back up, buddy. You hook me right back up. I want... Okay, which one goes? Oh, this one went up here. So we're going to snip this off right there and put this piece up at the top. Scoot it over a little bit. So, so pretty. Now, if I had a shadow box, this would all be in dim on dimensionals, but I just have that picture frame that I am using. And you know what? This is how it's going to be. I really like that. So we're going to trim this down. That little blue mark is where the little birdie used to be. But now it's not going to be a little birdie. It's going to be ooh, a little too far with the glue. Some on top, some on bottom to stick right in there. Extending that out. Now this we're going to cut. Let's see right there. And I'm going to piece them. So this one is going to go like so. Ooh, that is so pretty. And this one can continue there. 
So maybe trim that down a little more. Let's see. We could bring that there. I'm starting to think that I don't need all of those. Yes. You can see my mind going a little crazy. So I don't want that bit of the flower and I don't need that to be as long. Just a little on top, making it look like that branch is continuing right to there. Now, where's my other wee little flower? Like I said, a little surgery never hurts. Ooh, that one's going right there. See, it's still going to get used, just in a different place. And I'm going to clean that up a little bit so that it's not sticking out if I don't cut myself right now, which I hate to say it, it has happened before. So on the back and a little bit on the branch to tuck that right there, just extending the florally bits out. And this one then is going to go right to the edge. So snip that off and lickety split. I have a little piece of art that I created for my stamp room, which I love doing things like this. I, and do you guys like to do things like this? Cause I love doing little pieces like this. I love creating and paper is my medium. I used to toll paint, but um, I don't do that anymore. Um, so, oh my gosh, it is so spectacularly gorgeous. Oops. Need to tuck that little bit down. So just a little drop of glue there and there, and that will be tucked down. And where's my picture frame from Walmart? Five bucks. Spice like 20 for a darn, uh, look at that a shadow box frame so this is my cheaper version I do need to clean the glass off it's not going to help I'm going to get fingerprints on it no matter what I do so that just pops into place this is why you don't want dimensionals because it's not a shadow box but there's my little bit of art I could do a ribbon around here and it's just going to sit in my stamp room. I think it's quite adorable. I am very, very happy with it. I love the garden green. It could put some little bits. I'm wondering if I should do some little bits of garden green in there, but I'm going to leave it. I am very, very pleased with that. Could be a gift if you wanted to do something like this for somebody. Um, and it's so much fun. Guys, it is so even fussy cut those out, but I didn't put them on there. I could add them. If you wanted to add dimension to your glass, you could do that. Um, let's see. I know I have another. Oh, it's probably somewhere else. Like I said, if I wanted to add a bird, a larger bird. There, let's see. You can fussy cut one of them birds out. I need to make a card with some of this stuff. So, if I wanted a larger bird, you could put the bird on the outside of the glass, which would be really pretty. Um, but, that is a temptation. But no, I'm not. I'm going to leave it as it is. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I would really like to know, do you like seeing projects like this? Um, just for my info. But, um, I enjoy sharing with you. Thank you for allowing me to do that. And please feel free to comment, like, share. You guys know the routine. And um, as always, I do invite you to come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.